a teenage gang member who repeatedly raped a mother in front of her seven-year-old daughter made his victim perform one final humiliating act. Lorenz McCooley was won a two-day ice binge when he subjected the 23-year-old mother to a sickening attack. But not content with raping her, McCooley, 17, demanded his victim wipe down the windows to get rid of his fingerprints. McCooley had broken into the property through the window and presumably wanted to remove any evidence of his presence. The teenager from Hamilton on New Zealand's North Island has been sentenced to an eight-year stretch behind bars. Lorenz McCooley made his victim perform one final humiliation after raping her, image, Facebook, he appeared in Hamilton District Court last Friday where he faced charges for rape, threatening to kill, sexual violation, attempted kidnapping, burglary and assault on a child. The 23-year-old victim told the NZ Herald she was really disappointed with the sentence as it's hard to live a normal life following the ordeal. She said, he almost killed me and he almost killed my daughter. I still can't believe that it happened in my own place. How can this happen in New Zealand? McCooley, then 16, broke into his victim's home via a window which had been left open on the morning of April 7. He stole cash and made his way into the bedroom where the victim was sleeping with her daughter. McCooley had been on a two-day ice binge when he attacked the young mom, image, Facebook, he jumped onto the bed and strangled the mother and daughter despite their screams and resistance. Details of the horrific and lengthy attack were revealed in court. McCooley pulled the woman into the hallway and forced her to remove her clothes. He raped the woman three times, punched her in the face and ordered her to perform oral sex while her daughter was forced to watch. He also performed oral sex on her, stuff reported. At the end of a horrific violation, the woman was punched in the face a second time and forced to wipe down the window sills to remove McCooley's fingerprints. The victims managed to escape to a neighbor's house after the teenager demanded he be driven away from the crime scene. Police were called and McCooley was tracked down six days later. Hamilton District Court in New Zealand, image, Google Street View, the court heard the teenager had been smoking methamphetamine in the two days before the incident. Judge Louis Bidwa told the court the victim's life had been totally destroyed by the ordeal. Crown Prosecutor Luella Dunn said the victim lost confidence and struggled to go about normal activities of life including sleeping, exercising and socializing. Ms. Dunn sought a minimum of 14 years in jail claiming the community needed to be protected. She said, there is a risk of re-offending. There is a risk to the public defense counsel Sasha Nepe argued for a lower sentence as the teenager endured a tough childhood involving domestic violence and drug use. McCooley, who showed no remorse for his victim, was sentenced to eight years in jail as the judge allowed a 35% discount for a guilty plea in his youth.